All right, what's up? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna try to ride wrap my mountain bike. I've never done this, and we're gonna see how hard it is, how long it's gonna take me. So yeah, what is it like to ride wrap your mountain bike? Let's find out. All right, so the first thing I've went through and done is just a rough cleaning on the frame. Um, I have already been riding this bike, so I've definitely got a few scratches, unfortunately. So the main thing I'm wondering is, because I already have a few scratches on the frame, and some of them are relatively deep, uh, we're going to see how many of these the ride wrap hides after it's been put on. All right, so I took off the wheels, and uh, now we're going to do a thorough clean. Um, I would say a stand is recommended for this. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier with a stand. So now I'm just going to pretty much clean this bike so it is spotless. And then we'll start applying some film. All right, so I've gone ahead and thoroughly cleaned the bike, and I haven't taken off the chain like they've recommended. Um, I'm thinking I can work around it, and so I just left it on. But I've also stripped off uh, the fork. I uh, even took off the bottom bracket. Um, I'm taking everything off and cleaning it uh, while I'm doing this because I figure, you know, you might as well. You're already cleaning the rest of the bike. So I would recommend uh, you to go through and clean out the bike uh, while you do this as well because you've already got it on the stand and you've already got the tools out. So might as well give it a thorough cleaning, check all of your bearings. So the next step they say is after a thorough cleaning, you want to give it a wipe down with this pre-install cleaning wipe. So. They supplied two. I'm going to wipe it down thoroughly with these and then we'll get to the installation process. So I would definitely say one disadvantage to ride wrap before I even put it on is really you have to think about is it worth it for you to cover up what would already be a pristine finish to your bike. So in my case, I've got this raw carbon, no paint job, but just a matte finish over it. And really, it's unbeatable. I'm never going to get it to look better than it does right now without the uh, ride wrap. So putting the ride wrap on it, if anything, is probably going to make it look worse than it does factory. But the whole idea of the ride wrap is to preserve as much as possible this original finish. All right, so this is what's given to you. It's pretty much just a long strip of all of the uh, different pieces of wrap that you're gonna need. Also provided is the order of pieces and where they go. Another thing you're gonna have to do is make a solution. So they provide a concentrate. You have to get pretty specific with the amount that you use. Um, for the amount of water that you use so so too much of the solution of the water is going to leave it really hard to apply and for the edges to stick but too little of the solution means that it will adhere too quickly and you don't have enough time to get the air bubbles out and situate the piece so we're about to find out if I mix this properly all right so I'm going to wet down my hands with some of the solution they recommend keeping your hands uh, wet at all times with some of the solution. The first piece is fitting so far. Might have to make a few relief cuts. Alright, so got the first piece on. Took about 10-15 minutes. I'm glad they started you out on a piece like this where it's not as noticeable if you make a, a bunch of mistakes. So, uh, yeah, so far, so good.
All right, so it's about five days later. Um, I took it out for a ride about 48 hours after I installed it and uh, just to let it cure a little bit like it recommends. Then I uh, washed it up and now we're gonna check it out in detail a little more. Um, I did notice a few bubbles while I was installing that I was not really able to get out. And so now some of them are disappearing slowly, um, which is good. And I kind of figured it would self-heal a little bit and some of those bubbles would disappear, but it's good to uh, see that in action. I wanted to wait uh, to make this part of the video just to see kind of more long term what it's going to look like because I would say two days, three days after I had it on, um, it still was kind of looking a little rough and it was still kind of curing. Now it seems to be looking pretty good. Um, it was definitely difficult to get on, that's for sure. It took me about eight hours. For the solution, I got pretty lucky and um, I got the uh, ratio uh, working for me at least and all I did was just drop about one like decent sized drop of the solution into a water bottle this size and I still haven't even used all of it so overall would I recommend ride wrap I don't think it's for everybody um, overall the bike definitely doesn't look better with the ride wrap um, I much preferred without the ride wrap uh, but long term, I have a feeling this will look better. So, and with this black, I have any of the scratches I get, they're just super obvious. So with the ride wrap, that helps quite a bit with, you know, more temperamental colors like this. Yeah, if you've got a little bit of time and patience, uh, give it a shot. Buy the tailored kit for your specific bike and uh, give yourself a day or two. Do it right and take your time. And it's most likely going to turn out pretty good. So overall, this product does what it says it does, at least so far. Um, I'm definitely going to do a long-term review and update on it as time goes on and see if it's going to stay stuck to the bike and, and kind of like what wear and tear I end up seeing uh, specifically on the ride wrap itself. So if you have any questions on this, just let me know in the comments. A few tips I would say while installing that I learned, um, definitely get the solution right and test with it. And uh, the instructions will tell you uh, more details about that. But for the technique that seemed to work for me really well was applying a lot of pressure. So not necessarily sideways pressure and going outwards with the squeegee, but more of downward. And just even pressing really hard in certain areas on the ride wrap to get it to stick. So, and that seemed to help me get certain portions of it on while I could work on other portions. Yeah, give it a shot if you think it's worth it. Um, I definitely think my bike's protected now. I, I, I definitely think that it's going to do its job and um, it's gonna be pretty difficult to uh, scratch this bike or get rub marks in it or any of that, so. Stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be a uh, riding video, so a little more exciting maybe, but hopefully you got something out of this, and uh, we'll see you next time.